Mrs. Barden loves to have her bed sheets starched and ironed so the corners are perfectly folded. That is the only explanation I have for the lady being so stiff. My name is Nostalgia Richardson, and most days I would rather be somewhere else than doing housework for the Barden family. It is 1928, and I'm a 16-year-old color girl from Spivey's Grove, South Carolina. So it may seem to you I have no choice but to clean up after white folks, but I have a dream. I want to go to New York and dance at this place called the Cotton Club. I know they sell liquor and don't allow colored folks in it unless they're serving and entertaining whites, but I don't care. My parents would kill me if they knew I lied about how much the Bardens were really paying me. I told Mama Mrs. Barden was giving me $1 a week. <laughs> she is actually paying me $2 a week. I give my family $1 while saving the other half in a sock underneath a loose floorboard in my room. Until I'm ready to kick the red Spivey's Grove dust off the bottom of my shoes and run towards my destiny. Not bad for a little girl from backwards southern town, huh? I live with my parents and share a room with my 14-year-old sister, Lily. Of the two of us, she is the good girl. She sings in the choir at the first AME church on Walter Street. She doesn't dream of anything but marrying Henry Witt, her beau of two years, and making our parents proud. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with what she wants, but there's a big world out there. And the truth be told, I can't understand anyone who has no desire to see it. One thing I do appreciate about the Bardens is they allow me to indulge in their private library, especially since colored folk aren't allowed in the public library downtown. In spite of finishing sixth grade four years ago, I, unlike most girls my age, never stopped reading. I couldn't stop because I love it so much. All of my friends are married and raising families now. Me? I'm still free, so I can go read or go to New York just as soon as I feel I have saved enough, which may not be long. Anyway. Until I can get out of Spivey's Grove, reading is how I escape. Most folks around here avoid books as soon as they stop going to school. But I read now more than I did when I was there. It really irritates my parents. I guess because they can't even read the one book they own, the Bible. <laughs>